Down. Shemek lays it in. What a play, though, by Kelly Olenek. Offensive rebound. Gets doubled in the paint. It has the ability to see Shemek Karnowski wrap around bounce pass to his fellow big. Great play. Yeah, you're right, Dan. Most bigs get that offensive rebound. They don't have a putback. They're looking at the three-point line to deliver the ball. Olenek and Harris both trying to make plays off those offensive rebounds if they don't have a putback themselves. Olenek off the miss by Fujemison. Pangos. Three. Bang. Boom. Pangos with eight. 15-point wow. game. Great pull-up in transition. That's a shot that he has the ability to shoot and knock down consistently. And that is a key to opening up other parts in transition for him. Well, fellas, we talked to coaches throughout the year, you know, for all these broadcasts. And one, the underlying theme, particularly as we got into conference, was, look, GU's interior is one of the best in the country. We're going to have a tough time there anyway. But it's those perimeter plays that really hurt you. You've got to be able to contain Pangos, Bell, now Barham. Don't give them easy shots. And right there, that's just much too easy. Anderson's hands are down. If you've got perimeter shooting, guys knocking down shots for Gonzaga, they are awfully tough to beat. That's really the one area where coaches have tried to focus on. And so far tonight, San Diego has struggled to stop those perimeter shots. And after a little low, they're really getting it going. And you see the stats right here. First in the conference in scoring offense and defense, which creates a, such a great scoring mortgage, margin. They get to the free throw line, but they convert when they get there as well. And then field goal percentage, almost 50%, which is also top three in the country. Those numbers are staggering. Both teams to 58 points a game. I, mean, I don't think Gonzaga gets as much credit what they're doing defensively this year, and that's because their offense has been so efficient. Yeah, and I also think the program's history, you know, if you followed you for a long time, they're not known for their defensive ability. But you're right, Dan, this is one of the better defensive teams in the country. Rancifer shot a short, kicked around underneath. GU ball. It's been a balanced scoring effort tonight by Gonzaga already as well. Seven different Zags have scored. They lead by 15. Oh, no. Gonzaga now with a 15 point lead on USD guy Kevin Pangos now a sophomore first of all you, you can never leave this guy open oh he's such a great shooter and what he's doing now is he's scoring in different ways here you see pull up three in transition which is hard to hard to knock down this one rotation off the zone defense was slow catch and shoot three knock it down and here in transition push the ball defense doesn't stop you get all the way to the cup right there great left hand finish doing a great job scoring in different ways this year as compared to last year and Richard he's so good you can't just throw a hand up and wave at him you got to get up into him and guard him yeah, close. you've got to be there on the catch you yes. got a quick release and every time he gets into that shooter's pocket he can go up with it so shots already made yeah, it's not just enough to get there in rotation and, and be there you've got to close out and get there on the catch and then have a hand up as well for being only six foot he's able to shoot over some bigger guys when their hands are down you back on offense under six to play first half. Pangos. Shemek Karnowski with the catch. And now an offensive foul inside on Kelly Olinick. Olinick picks up number one. That's five on GU with 5.52 to play. That's something we haven't seen a lot out of Kelly this year, but we did his first two years as he got in awfully bad foul trouble just with tic tac fouls like that sticking his hand in the cookie jar different things like that he's done a great job staying out of foul trouble this year Harris back on the floor Olenek getting the rest Harris with seven points Chris Anderson with it Patient against Karnowski and will go to the free throw line. Foul called here on Karnowski. That's his first team sixth. <laughs> Guys, good time to talk about Elias Harris. And I think this this kid is as good as any Zag ever and it has nothing to do with his numbers. Well, and this is why. He's in his senior year. There's all this talk about the NBA. And he is 
watched Kelly Olynyk come onto the scene this year and take a, away a lot of his points. That's spot and it yeah. has not affected him one bit. You know, I, I I think on the floor, off the floor, there hasn't been a better guy. And you're right, he has he, he's accepted Kelly's emergence, and not only that, but the depth up front for a senior. Uh, you could be upset with the fact you have to spend a lot of time with three other guys, but he's embraced it all. He's been a great leader. He had a lane violation there against Gonzaga, so another opportunity for man wrestling. Dan, for a kid who's trying to get to the NBA, if there's a selfish bone in him at all, what's happened with Olenek would bother him. We've seen it with players in the past. You can Absolutely. see it, but, but this group, this year's team is so cohesive, and they're all focusing on the same goal, and, and that's to maximize their ability this year that Ellis doesn't want to put that to chance. But what he's doing right now is he's showing a lot of character to NBA scouts. A lot, yeah. And when, and when you're drafted where he's probably going to be drafted in the second round, you know, maybe late first, you never know. You're going to a team where you've got to have that. You're going into an established locker room more than likely. You can't be a guy who causes trouble. Brent Guinness with an explosion to the rim. 15-point game. Boy, look at the power by Manresa right yeah. at Karnowski. People Strong forget he, he was an all-freshman kid. But he scored eight points a game, yeah. Richard. Right up at 9 10 he was one of the better freshmen. He just hasn't been able to consistently do it, doesn't have a great motor. But when he when he comes to play, he's about as good as it gets in the WCC. Dick <laughs> Gow's even got a lot when he gets soft from Pangos there. I mean, we talk about scoring in a number of different ways. That right there is a great example of shielding the defense with your body. Creating the contact, getting the ball up high off the glass, so when the foul comes, ball still has a chance to go in. Great tough move finish. finish. Yeah. A lot of contact. He takes it from Sinis, and he's gotten bigger over the offseason. Olenek's not the only guy who's made a real big change to his physique. I think Kevin spent a lot of time in the weight room. He's gotten stronger. Now he can absorb some of that contact. As a freshman, that would really bother him. Bangos into double figures with 11 points. That was the first foul on Sinus five on USD. And that's a good point about getting stronger. You know, you don't necessarily have to put on pounds. Your strength needs to be able to continue to help you explode through contact and stay on balance. Grant Guinness, I thought that was a clean poke, but kind of a late whistle. The foul called. His first, team seventh. Good quick hands by Grant Guinness. I don't know. I have been really impressed by Elias Harris this year because of that foul. Well, I, I, yeah, he's, I, I totally agree, and you're right. We've seen it in the past. Yes. Maybe not as noticeable as, you know, for a lot of fans. We've had some seniors in particular or established players who might it might run the wrong way. You, know, you want to be the guy, and Harris is taking a little bit of a backseat to, to Olenek. He's embraced his role, and he's had a tremendous season. I mean, his career, his career is as good as anybody who's ever come through here. There's a whistle inside. This will be on USD, and it will go against Simmons. It's his second to six. I agree. You take a look at his four years total. Mm -hmm. Started for four years. He's going to be top five in scoring and rebounding, I believe. Yep. yep. And the fact that top steals, top ten in steals, blocks for his career is yeah. going to shoot fifty percent from the field, thirty-five from three. I mean. What are we talking about here? One of the greatest players to come through here. Oh, without a doubt. I can't think of anybody quickly that I would take over him at that well, point. Well, I think you look at four-year careers, the guys who come to mind are Turioff, Santangelo, and Step. Mm -hmm. and Harris. Harris knocks down a great mm -hmm. base Calvary. Calvary. shot. Calvary, thank you. You're always going to forget one. <laughs> Casey might kill me when he hears this. <laughs> Casey was tremendous as well. You owe me, Richard. Thank you. He would have killed you. He would have killed me. <laughs> Manresa, backdoor Anderson. Couldn't save it. 337 to play. Turnover number six on USD. 35-17 the score in Spokane. Beautiful shot of the Spokane River. Goes right through the downtown. Spokane, the Sags with a 35-17 lead against the USD Toreros. 3:37 to play, first half, and there's somebody that Richard also just left off the list, Corey Violet. Wow, he and, could play. Uh, yeah, he could play. Play with both of you guys. And, yeah, I did. And 
a big life happening recently for him. Yeah, that's his fiance Lisa. Wonderful, wonderful gal. They just got engaged last week, so uh, things are going well with Corey. But we played this morning, and I kind of gave it to him, so I just forgot him today. But they're they're not talking. They're not fighting, are they? No, things okay, are okay. Good. good. All right, good. Game is <laughs> You can you can find out after the game fill us in here. Well the, the, something that that's a unique part about GU. A lot of guys are still here. You, know, you have Kyle in town play the former player going to be in town. We're all going over his parents house after the game about half a dozen of us. And that's something that's unique. You see it all the time. Here at GU. Here's Gary Bell. Missed that long. Rebounded by number 33. Gito Coke. Three minute mark, first half. Then goes the deflection. Anderson regains control and then the handoff for Lansiford. 12 on the shot clock. San Diego's in a tough place here. Well, they got to get some points, but they also don't want to get it back into the up and down battle with you. And now they're in trouble. They won't even get a shot off. You want to slow it down for San Diego, but that possession, really no dribble penetration to speak of. And not a lot of ball swing. Your, your offense has been really stagnant. You see Anderson is frustrated. And right now San Diego just can't get things going offensively. And you're right, Greg. They don't want to take quick shots because they don't want to feed GU's fast break. But you got to find that middle ground. Yeah, and that's a lot harder said than done. Dude. I mean, that's a crazy thin threshold. Here's Dowler. Shot is blocked, but Sam ran it down. Pangos poked away. And a foul called here. This will be on Anderson. That's his first team seventh, so Pangos will shoot free throw. Here you see Gito Coke for San Diego going up, getting the block, leads the conference in shot blocking as a freshman. He's got a ton of potential. A guy that he reminds me of just because of his build. And the way he moves on the floor is Nicholas Batum with the Portland Trailblazers. Whoa. I don't know if he has that upside, but he has that look. And Richard's shaking his head over there. But <laughs> coming up as a young player, Nicholas Batum was not viewed as a 16, 17 point guy in the NBA either, but he really developed. Well, he's great defensively. The offense is a long way away. Only takes two shots a game. Really struggled. Doesn't have great hands yet. But what he is is a guy who on the defensive end might win defensive player of the year a couple times. Well, he has a real impact on that end. Long. Yep. He yep. is athletic. And he keeps working with Kyle Bankhead, Mike Burns, and Coach Greer. He's going to improve. 14 on the shot clock. Ransom for Pang.